That's right, Katie and Dave. Right now, you're probably wondering why I'm taller than, uh, you know, Chip right here. I'm on a stool because we're trying to make sure that we build up some static uh, charge, so um, I am neutral. Um, right now, we're going to be turning on this generator, and I'm going to be showing you how I can take over the mind of a bubble. So Chip's going to be blowing some bubbles, and we're going to show you how that works. So I'm going to put my hand on this. My hair might go crazy again. And so Chip's going to start blowing those bubbles. Um, and as he's blowing those bubbles, I'm going to put this down and show you how we can take over the mind of a bubble. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but what we're doing is when he's blowing the bubbles my way, I have so much static electricity going through my body right now that it's blowing or it's making the bubbles go actually towards you guys. So, um, Chip, why is that? Why do the bubbles go away from us when we're putting our hand on this uh, generator? So as you as you develop your charge, you're, you're get, getting that 100,000 volts of electricity all over your body. Ow, even your fingertips. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's okay. You've got superpowers. Um, so that same power that you just zapped me with is going out into the air. It's creating a little bit of an ion breeze, and so it's blowing the bubbles away. So you have that power to shift where the bubbles are going. They actually travel along the field lines of the electricity in the room away from your finger. So pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. And uh, sorry, Chip, I just, you know, shocked the heck out of you just now. You know, this thing's putting off a lot of uh, static electricity. But coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to be talking about science works and some what other activities you guys can do here um, when they have their events on the weekend. So we'll be right back with more after the break.